Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I am here with the one, the only, Mr. Craig Fountain. You may not know him yet, but you soon will because he's the owner of Outdoor, and that is a really cool aluminum frame system that I'm in absolute love with, and I gotta share it with everybody that I know. So I hope you guys like this video and that you will click that subscribe button. Not only Dr. Dex subscribe button, don't forget to go over to Outdoor, check out their page, which stands for Outdoor and Durable. Out, D-U-R-E. Go check him out as well. Craig, thank you so much. Oh, man. All the way from Sydney, Australia. I can't believe he's here. <clears throat> this is two years in the making, and we have a lot of information that we want to put out to you today. Um, we've already done an informational video about Craig and about his product and the benefits of it and all that. We are getting into the mechanics. What it is. The mechanics. How, how it works. <laughs> of this product. And uh, I'm so new to this. I've, I've actually only been touching it for about a week. So uh, we've done our fu first full install. I've gone through and you've given me a rundown of all the product yep. and uh, or vi virtually almost everything that you manufacture. It's a super cool, really slick component system that bolts together, screws together, and it's in the perfect color. Yeah. Badass black. Badass black. It's only one color, right? It as only, long as it's, it's black. It, yeah, as long as it's black, I'm in. So, Craig, um, I'm going to let you kind of <clears> give <throat> us a rundown on all this stuff and what it is, and I'll just kind of interject as I see fit. So, please, yeah, cool. go oh, for man, it. Oh, man, it's just, first of all, it's so good to be here and to yeah. be able to talk about this and, and really, I suppose, go through the system and the details so that we can um, share with everybody exactly what the components are, what it's made up of, and how it goes together. Yep. So, um it's it can really be as simple or as sophisticated as you want it to be like you can get away with the bare bones components mm -hmm. or you can really load it up and use all the accessories and, and things that we've got so in and as a summary it's it's a uh, a modular deck framing structural system uh, called quick build and it's uh, infinitely configurable and it's based around the all the all the profiles being a consistent width. So the actual tight measure of it is uh, inch and three quarters, but we basically refer to it as uh, the, one of the main profiles that gets used a lot is a, a two by two um, here. And you can see that it's got um, uh, channels and these are for brackets and for um, a clip fastening system. So you can clip any um, surface to it that you want. Uh, but you'll notice that it's asymmetric. So it's not um, flat. It's not, um, and it's, so it's not flat on both sides. So what this means is that you can roll this, any section of it over and you can um, fasten. You can see you've got your grooves here, which indicate um, nice screw lines so that you don't hit any of the internal ribs. So you can screw, use any fastening system that uses a screw. To put it down onto that so you can use any of the the you know big brand decking um, clip systems mm -hmm. out there you can screw hardwood to it so we've mm -hmm. got a sample to show you um, next about how you would screw hardwoods to it and then you've also got the, the channel system which is then configurable uh, well compatible with our twist clip cam lock system so this is where you've got a clip that goes into the channel, rotates around, and that stops it from lifting out. And I'm gonna show you how that works. It comes in a range of profiles. So we've got the smallest little baby profile. Believe it or not, this is still a joist and it's still a beam. And you're going, what, a beam? That's like <laughs> half an inch thick. Uh, but Jason's gonna, you know, kind of explain why this is used as a joist and a beam and what applications that's suitable for. So we've got... I just had a come to reality moment right before we started filming this video <laughs> where I was just, I was just playing around with his product. He just pulled this stuff out and I was like, I hadn't seen this one yet. We've been using some of the thicker products that he offers. And I saw this, I was like, wait a minute. And then we just had a 10 minute conversation about it. So we'll get into that in a minute. I'm gonna yeah. let you continue on your presentation. But uh, I see big, uh, big opportunities with this product and for certain reasons and we'll get back to you on that. Yeah, cool. So we've got half inch. Then we've got um, one inch, which is uh, it's a slightly different um, bracket system for this one, but we'll talk a little bit more on that later. Then we've got a two by two, so half inch, one inch, a two by two. 
and then we go to a four by two, which we're going to overlay the image on because we've actually used all that product yeah. on that last project. I got greedy, I couldn't help it. So we're a little short on samples, but we're going to put this over the top so that you can see it. So on the screen now, you should be seeing um, what a the two by four. Yeah, what the family of products are. So we basically go and hold the edges of these products here. I don't know if you can see that on the, on that camera angle. Half inch, one inch two inch, then we've got a um, four inch, then we've got a six inch, and then we've got our eight inch, which is right here. Right here. So eight inch here, um, and we've actually got a 10 inch one coming out, uh, a Dr. Dick special. Yep. For those so, that need rigidity, yeah. all the way. <laughs> Spans. Yeah. So you'll notice, when you're looking at this profile, <clears throat> this one's got four channels. Uh, the next one down, which is a, um, a six, a two by six has got three channels, and the four by two has got the two channels. And we've got obviously one channel for this one. Um, we're gonna show you what brackets are used to put these together. Bring you out something that we prepared earlier. So this is a really good example of um, just a little frame that we've built as a display. So you can see exactly how hardwoods would be fastened to it so you can see you've got screw lines on the top of the joist and that tells us where we can put screws in so obviously this still applies to any cortex drill screws that we mm -hmm. may use mm -hmm. um, but you can put any hardwoods onto it so whatever width you want um, whatever thickness you want and we've got you know the suitable fasteners that just go straight into the aluminium really well uh, you can see here that obviously you can use it flat side up or channel side up um, you can make modular frames out of it, so um, you know it's all perfectly precision, and you can see how you can make any prefabricated frames off-site um, in a factory, in a warehouse. Uh, you can make them to size, and then basically stack them up on a truck, deliver them to site, lift them off the truck, and put them into place. So it takes it's basically applying technology to deck framing, where. You know, a lot of it's done traditionally where you're basically either tipping off a, a bunch of lumber onto the ground and then you're, you're measuring it all out on site in the, <clears throat> in the environment and cutting it all to length, having to all do that. But, if you know, in a lot of scenarios we can make it in a kit set style so it's all cut to length and you can even prefabricate it before you go out to site. If it's right. in clement weather, you know, if you've got a lot of snow, um, that kind of thing, you can basically build your deck frames in a warehouse or in a garage mm -hmm. out of the elements right. and take it to site and then just put it into place. Nice. Like impossible to do with lumber. Yeah, impossible. Like for anything, you'd need a crane to lift it. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah exactly. But in a lot of scenarios, you're building frames where you can carry them with one person or even two people. Um, they're 20 foot long. You can make them four feet wide, eight feet wide. So if you've got a 20-foot long frame by eight feet wide, two people can lift it up and carry it. Wow. Like, it's, it's really unbelievable. Wow. So um, we're just going to show you the, some, some basic examples of, of how this um, works. So we've got this thing called a, uh, a, a snap clip, which is what we use for basically retaining uh, how a board is going to get um, installed onto here. So we'll, we'll, I'm just going to snap this on. It's going to take a while. There we go. Oh, man, yeah, that, was, yeah. that was unacceptable. That was an exhaustive process. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so we've got that. I've got another one over here. And so I'm just going to snap that on again so you can see how it's got. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got some hooks. So that's a screwless fastening system. No screws, so no corrosion. You're not penetrating anything into there. These are all electroforosis um, plated st st 304 stainless steel. Um, I'm gonna spin this around so you can see exactly how this now works. So we've got those clips there. We're actually gonna use a um, ASIC product. It's the vintage range. And you can see how that clip now holds that board as a retainer clip to line it up perfectly with the edge Yeah, of the frame. it's not moving. Yeah, it's in, it's in yeah. there. So now you're going, okay, so what are you gonna use, like a Cortex driller to screw this off? 
Well, you don't actually have to. We've got another. Now, a Cortex driller is a special screw that Fasten Master makes that is designed to penetrate metal and steel and aluminum joist systems where you're screwing through the deck board and right into the aluminum product and it locks it down and then you yeah. just, tr it's a traditional Cortex plug that you go on top of. And it works a treat. Yeah, it works really good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and in a lot of scenarios, it's still really good if you're wanting to really pin the boards down to the mm -hmm. frame or mm -hmm. if you've got really technical detailing mm -hmm. of where you need to finish it off. But we've invented this thing called a twist clip, which is a cam lock clip. Now, I'm just gonna show you how this goes in. It takes quite a lot of effort. You push it into the channel and then you use your hand, Wrist. you rotate it around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you might have to slide it right in. Sometimes I use yeah. my foot instead of my hand. Yeah. After they're in, you can just slide them with your feet. Yeah. You don't have to bend down every time to, to move one over. So we're gonna try another one. Are you sure? Yeah, in case you didn't quite get it. So okay. push it in, rotate Wrist. it, slide it in. Mm. And you're going, okay, well that doesn't... Okay, check it out though. <clears throat> check this out. So here, here it is, okay. It's locked in. This board, it's not going anywhere, okay? You cannot pull it up because it's locked into these channels. Mm. I'm just gonna slide that next board in. Right. You got a perfect quarter inch gap. Yep. And I'm pushing from the bottom of this board and it's not moving. So should we put a couple more in? Yeah, put a couple more in. Right, so there you go. Wow. And so what we were doing the other day was we were installing five boards, then using our deck clamps to make sure everything's nice and straight, and then you put a set screw in your fifth clip that's on the outside of the five boards, or maybe it's your sixth clip, but then you pin that to the inside of the track and then those five boards are locked for good. And then you just lay another five <clears throat> boards and do yeah. the same thing over and over, and it's very fast. Like we laid 250 square feet of decking in less than three hours. Yeah. And we were taking our time. Yeah. And well, we had some, we had some, we had some, yeah, lots of, <laughs> lots of social media interactions in between all that because we were filming. So uh, if you're focused and you're just trying to go for speed, for all you production guys out there, you might want to consider this system when it's available, which will yeah. be in about September, September. If not awesome. earlier, <clears throat> we've got some product in the states, but in terms of actually, like, yeah, like be able, to, like where can I yeah. get a doctor kind of thing. Yeah, uh, we'll we'll be giving you updates if you follow us on social media. Follow me at Doctor Dax on social media or Outdoor Living on uh, Instagram. Yeah. And we will be keeping you guys informed of when this system is actually going to be fully available in the States. Yeah. So, okay, Craig, this is in my world. Yeah. You just, you just hit a grand slam. Yeah. Okay, that means it's a home run with three men on base, so four people yeah, score. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Nice. Yeah, I don't know if you're familiar with baseball yeah, yeah. terms. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> and this is beautiful. It really is. And, and. I'm not just saying that because I just did it and I really, because I do a lot of hidden fastened decks, yeah. but it's just a beautiful system. It's not just the overall finished look, it's what's below it, the skeleton, everything about it. But uh, what else can you do with your system besides just laying deck boards on it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So one of the beauties of the system is that it's multi-surface, right? So mm -hmm. you can do decking boards, you can do tiles, you can do turf. Mm -hmm. uh, but not only that, we've, we've developed um, an access ventilation grate system mm -hmm. and anti-slip. Okay. So it gets used in a lot of applications where you need um, either access to something underneath mm -hmm. or you want to get a hose in there and clean it out sure. in, in your gutter. You've got downpipes, you've got leaves that are getting under, underneath mm -hmm. the deck mm -hmm. in, in a low height environment, sure. maybe over a yep. waterproof membrane where you want to clean it out. But in a lot of uh, bars and restaurants and things like that where they've got a lot of beer getting spilt onto the deck and it starts to smell, mm -hmm. they want to be able to wash it out mm -hmm. a lot. So yeah. um, we, so if I just take these off, you're going to see... Um, oh, just by the way, on this clip, you're probably wondering, okay, well, how do you control the board for expansion and contraction? Mm -hmm. So you can either use the Cortex driller and go through and pin the board wherever you want just to control it. So if you pin it at one end, obviously the expansion We, we actually pin the outside edges of the boards on 20-foot boards. We just yeah. pin the ends. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Or you can use the hole in the clip there so that you can actually, and it comes with the screws, 
uh, to screw through into the board this way through the clip and that actually pins the board in that place and controls expansion and contraction because that clip can't go left or mm. right. So you've got a couple of options of, of how you want to pin the board. Uh, actually, you might also be interested in what it looks like from the top in terms of what you actually see. So, you know, you, you, the clip is really nondescript. It's black. It's not shiny. You're not going to see it. Um, and it's not noticeable. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So if I take this out, and um, this is the solution that we've designed. It comes in black and silver, and it's called a quick grate. Uh, the idea being it's quick to install and it's quick to lift up. And, and it's and, great. Yeah, and it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you've got these, um, a snap mount, and the reason why we call it a snap mount is that you'll see is that the grate just snaps into it. So you slide those into the channel of the, of the profile. That actually then gets screwed down into the channel. And this edge holds that board down. So it's like having another clip that's holding mm -hmm. the board down. Mm -hmm. And then all I do is I take the grate and then it perfectly lines up and then snaps into place. That's why it's called a snap mount. Right. And what I noticed earlier, I was playing around with the width and it's very, very close to the same exact width as the AZEC deck board. So you can even do applications where maybe you don't need the whole run of your decking to be great, but maybe you need some access points and you can actually trim this where yeah. you can put uh, decking and the grate in the same run. But uh, either way, it's extremely good looking. While we're here, we may as well show this component here, which is you're going, man, that's a funky design. What does that do? This is what we call a double joist bracket. So exactly what the doc was just showing us in terms of you want to add on and, and make a butt join there between the grate and the decking board. I can literally just do this, snap that on. I'm going to pull this board over here so that you can actually see it and make sure it's in shot. I just literally stick this in here and then go snap that in. And you can see now, if you just remove that, I'm going to put a double clip in there so mm -hmm. it's held down there yep. and there. Yep. Now you've got that decking board going in there. And then I'm going to put another clip here like that, there, and then this grate is in there like so. And now we can actually start off and put another decking board in here and you've got that. So awesome. you've just created a double joist without having to go in and actually cut a short length and nail it off. Yeah, that's awesome. Put it in there. I love it. So to show you what this now looks like, is that if we just put another board here, you can see that that's the finished, the finished between decking board, grate, and decking board. Now I can actually get a tool in there and I can pop the grate out. Mm -hmm. So that was my next question, yeah. you all finished there, mm -hmm. you can either get a hose and try and square through there, or you can actually pull the whole grate out. You can access taps or electrical services or clean out your gutters and your sumps mm -hmm. and your downpipes mm -hmm. that are all filled out with leaves. Yep, all that good stuff. Get that in there. Now the next one we've got is, uh, gets used a lot for commercial applications or for, um, say, you've got a ramp or stair treads where you're wanting, you know, really non-slip environments. So I just put this in here. I've got my clips, all the same clips that hold it down. And there you go. So and this comes in black and silver. This is a 3M product um, that we've developed and put onto, well, we haven't developed the 3M product, but we've developed how we adhere it onto our um, anti-slip strip so that now you can put that in ramps, stair risers, anywhere where there's like, you get ice build up, snow, mm -hmm, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. and you want extra super traction. Yeah. Um, it's fantastic for that. Unique. So you can almost, in, in a lot of situations, we're using this every other board. Right. Like if you've got- Like a, on a ramp. Access or, areas for, you know- Yeah, super grippy. Going into stores or whatever. Yeah, you do, so. yeah. Yeah, just safety, yeah. safety first. But you can see how fast that went together with the clips. Oh yeah, you know, silly, yeah. Different fasting system. It's amazingly quick. Yeah. So you've got that, right? Mm -hmm. So we've just shown you the decking board. You've got hardwood, you've got composite, you've got your access ventilation grates. You've got um, the anti-slip strip. Now, your next option is um, 
I'll just get rid of these. You know, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like black spaghetti. So we've developed uh, EPDM. Um, it's an extruded product that we use, and it's called a rubber isolating bead. So what it does is it embeds into the channel, like so. Fits in just like butter. And uh, you can see here, what that does is it creates a really nice surface for a structural tile mm. to come along. And we can put the structural tile on there. Wow. What you don't want is tiles on aluminium because that's going right. to sound terrible. Yeah. It's going to yeah. make a terrible sound. So, but we've got um, this product now allows us, we've got a half clip. So it's a one-sided mm. clip okay. that then goes into here so that I can now lock off that board. There, this is actually not the clip designed for this board. Because <laughs> this is a this is a one-inch board and this is made for a inch and seven-eighths board. Um, but anyway, the principle of it is is that we would have a quarter inch of well a quarter inch gap or whatever gap you want in between the decking board mm -hmm. and the tiles. I'm gonna pull that out a little bit. <clears throat> but you can now see that you can mix and match tiles. We have our spaces that go in there. You can see now you can mix and match tiles and decking boards with the same joist system and you're just mix and matching your surfaces on there. Yeah. That's really cool. And you provide <coughs> certain types of tiles with your brand? Yeah, so you have to use structural tiles, so mm -hmm, we sell mm -hmm. all the tiles as well. You do? You can use... How um, many different tile selections do you have? There's two different ranges, and then there's four colors within each okay. range. Yeah. all right. <coughs> and you can have joists at um, 300, um, 300 mil centers or 12 inch centers, mm -hmm. and that then means that you can just run joists straight underneath your decking boards, mm -hmm. and then you can also put tiles on it. Yeah, that's and pretty cool. You don't cool. have to change your joystick. You don't have out. to change anything, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I dig it. <clears throat> so you can really get some very cool designs. Often people are putting in um, like a tile insert where they're going to have yeah. like a fire, like mm -hmm. a, um, what fire do you pit? call them here? Like fire a fire pit, pit in the mm -hmm. middle of your deck. Mm -hmm. Because some people don't want to do that on composite. Right. Because they're scared it's going to yeah. melt burn it it. away. Melt it, yeah, put yeah. some burn holes in it. <clears throat> So you've got that. So the next little option that we've got here, just take this, remove the rubber bead. I'm going to put my clips back in. Now we've got two. Mm. <clears throat> so wow. I can now, it's all the same clip system. That's really cool. So I can now go, I can even go, you can just mix it up as much as you want. You can just keep going. So I've got now a great, I've got grass, and I've got my board, and mm -hmm. then I can even go tiles. You've got the one joist that'll do the whole lot. We've designed it so that the turf sits proud <clears throat> of these surfaces, but when you stand on it, it's just the perfect kind of compression there. Okay, so with turf, <clears throat> you have a board, you have a, a plank that's the same width as this. Yeah. But you lay multiple, planks down and then what do you glue this down it's, it's an aluminum decking board with the turf already on it no nope. so the turf is put on after the fact okay so I show is you. it screwed down or yeah so we screw it down okay how often so it's uh probably six, six inch every six inch yeah. okay but this comes uh what is it eight foot wide okay in a uh 60 foot roll mm-hmm Okay. So, and you basically lay it down like carpet. Okay. But so the beauty of the, we call this the turf baseboard. Okay. Now, it's exactly the same width as the decking board. Mm -hmm. It uses the same clips. Mm -hmm. And so all your quantification is the same. Same. Hmm. Yeah, and you're not having to go and find out different accessories and all that kind of stuff. So it's, right. we've tried to develop the system so you use the fewest number of accessories that you need for for what you're going to use. So this this actually mounts to the lower part of the clip. Yeah. I see. <clears throat> huh. That's really unique. So we do heaps of um, daycare centers for, for kids, um, retirement villages, aged care, where they want, you know, some green space out on their deck. Yeah. Um, 
because it all gets you your, you know your flush finish. Yep, yep, that is awesome. Yeah. So you've got that. You got your tiles. You got hardwood. You got your tiles. You got your grading system. Any slip anti slip system. Your turf, and then any decking board that you want. And you can go from your one inch, a half inch joist right through to your ten inch joist. So you can be doing it right from your low ground right to way up off the ground. Right. Wow. Pretty versatile. Yeah, you like so that? It's a one-stop shop, <laughs> I do. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you learned a little bit of something about outdoor living or what kind of a cool product they offer or you like something, maybe you want to put some uh, grass in your next aluminum frame system, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we're putting out new content. Comment below on this video and don't forget to like it as well. Don't forget to follow at Dr. Dex on Instagram or at Outdoor Living on Instagram as well. Hit that subscribe button for Craig as well. His handle on YouTube is? So, uh, at Outdoor. Outdoor. Just outdoor. outdoor. Yeah. Check him out. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel as well, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I know these are a little bit longer than our average videos, but I hope you did enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Catch up.